Now, from the studios of Into Tomorrow in Miami, this is ITTV. Welcome back Into Tomorrow. We have another exciting ITTV update for you. Of course, I'd rather that you be the judge of that. I'm Dave Graveline. We hope you enjoyed our coverage from CTIA Wireless in Orlando, Florida last week. Remember, you can watch our video reports and listen to our three-hour radio show interviews at intotomorrow.com. It's all available for free right there. This ITTV update is brought to you in part by NewEggBusiness.com. Protect your small business with Intel Xeon E3, offering 30% better performance than previous generations. For more, visit NewEggBusiness.com slash Intel E3. Once you know, you knew it. Being radio guys, we have a passion for audio, and no one is more passionate about being behind the mic than our very own iDork, Rob. He's got a neat recording app and microphone this week. Warning, with Rob singing, you might want to have some earplugs handy. Take it away, Rob. Hey Dave, I don't think I've had this much fun with our product spotlight segments in a long time. We've been playing with the first professional microphone designed to work with your iDevices, the iPad, iPhone, and iPod Touch. This is the iRig, a mic that has a metal casing and a highly unidirectional condenser electric microphone capsule. So it is a real microphone, almost like the ones we use as broadcasters, only with a dual mini jack connector, which allows for real-time monitoring, meaning you can hear yourself sing or speak while you record. You plug in the connector to the headphone jack on your iDevice, then plug in headphones or earbuds to the headphone jack on the dual mini jack connector. You can use several recording apps or karaoke apps on your device, but IK Multimedia has one of their own called Boca Live. There's a free and a paid version. You can get by with the free version. The paid version is available for 20 bucks and has more features like pitch fix and morph effects. Both versions offer a la carte in-app purchases for other features. Warning though, the in-app purchases will not transfer between devices. For example, if you paid for a feature on your iPhone, you won't have that on your iPad without paying again. One of my favorite features on Vocalive included in both versions is importing songs. You can do that via Wi-Fi, file sharing, or import directly from your iPod library. The iRig is good for musicians, podcasters, and journalists on the go for interview recordings. But my favorite use is, are you ready? Karaoke! And the dancers may be on the floor, but my eyes will see only you. Only you have the magic technique. When we sway, I go weak. I go weak. Boy, Dave, I wish I could sing. Maybe I'll continue practicing with the eye rig and vocal live. We'll see how it goes. Oh, trust me, we wish you could sing too. Thanks for trying though. The iRig can be fun and productive at the same time. It's available for just under 60 bucks. What do you think of the iRig mic? Know someone that can use one? Share your thoughts with us in our comments below or on our radio show. Call in anytime 24-7 to 1-800-899-INTO. That's 800-899-4686. This ITTV update is brought to you in part by DiskKeeper Performance Software with IntelliWrite, the only product available today that actually prevents up to 85% of fragmentation before it happens. Get it at DiskKeeper.com. It's time to travel back into yesterday with Chris Gravelines This Week in Tech History. This week in 1892, voters in Lockport, New York became the first in the U.S. to use voting machines. In 1894, the kinetoscope was demonstrated by its inventor Thomas Alva Edison in New York City. A viewer that held 50 feet of film, about 13 seconds worth, showed images of Annie Oakley and Buffalo Bill. In 1984, Challenger astronauts made the first satellite repair in orbit by returning a healthy SolarMax satellite to space. The orbiting Sun Watcher had been circling the Earth for three years with all circuits dead before repairs were made. And this week back in 2010, Caitlin Gatrell brought you her first Kids Tech Report right here on ITTV. That's our look back at This Week in Tech History.
Thank you, Chris. Can't believe it's been a year since Caitlin started doing reports for our kids' tech. Hope you're enjoying it. Are we Facebook friends? Be sure to look at our social buttons at intotomorrow.com so we can get social on the web. It's the thing to do. Please hit like on our Into Tomorrow and Kids Tech pages on Facebook. Caitlin Gatrell is back this week, kicking off her second year as our Kids Tech reporter. She's got a very popular new 3D gaming device for kids of all ages. Take it away, Caitlin. Okay. Ooh, I love this one. It's 3D. I bet most of you have heard of this gaming device that just came out. It's the brand new Nintendo 3DS. Yes, I know there is already a pretty cool DSi XL out there, but did I mention this one is 3D? And you don't even need to wear any glasses. You can take three pictures from its outer cameras here on the back and play several 3D games. Some of my favorite 3D games already are Nintendogs and Cats because I love pets and Pilot Wings Resort because it feels like you're flying in the game. More 3D games will come out soon. Almost all of your existing Nintendo DS games can be played on the 3DS, but of course they won't show up in 3D. The Nintendo 3DS features a 3D depth slider so you can adjust the 3D intensity to your liking. Mine is set at the most extreme 3D settings. The 3DS lets you connect to wireless networks with SpotPass, as well as the ability to interact with other 3DS users to exchange game information with StreetPass. You control what information you'd like to share with others like me characters are high scores. The 3DS is available in two colors, Cosmo Black, like mine, or Aqua Blue, my favorite color. It's currently available in the US for under 250 bucks. We hope you enjoy your 3D gaming experience with the 3DS like me. Let us know what you think about it. What's your favorite 3DS game? Comment below or send an email to kidstech at grapevine.com. That's kidstech at g-r-a-v-e-l-i-n-e dot com. Check us out at kidstech.tv when you're online. Thanks for watching. I'm Caitlin. Bye. Ooh, this means it's back to game playing. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Caitlin. That 3DS is a lot of fun. Hopefully it doesn't give you headaches. By the way, we're very proud to have you in our Into Tomorrow and ITTV family. And the same to you, our viewers. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned Into Tomorrow. And of course, hit us up at intotomorrow.com. See you next week. I'm Dave Gravelock.